I'll wait for everybody to get to come in position and go all the way around. Get into a spot where you can see. I'm going to take you on a kind of a star walk. Meaning I'm going to take you from here. The next space I'm going to take you is right to the, my right. Then I'm going to walk you across to where we started. And then I'm going to bring you back into this space again. And I'm going to talk in that corner. And then I'm going to talk about these three pieces and those two panels. And that's how I'm going to fixate everything together. Then, at the very end of me going through the various words I'm going to share with you, if there are questions about other pieces that I skipped over, feel free to ask me about it and I will tell you anything you want to hear or know about it, whether it be I do it in a collective setting or where I do it individually with you. The title of this piece is called Bird in Hand, Second Line for Michigan. I'm starting with this piece because this piece here is the philosophical foundation of my work. This is the philosophical foundation of the way in which I see my work. So those students in here, undergrads or graduate students, you understand this perhaps through the language of a thesis. So this is the thesis of my work. And how it becomes a thesis of the work is the name of the piece called Bird in Hand, Second Line from Michigan. I'm going to give you a little bit of history, then I'll start walking you through the piece. The history is that there's a jazz funerary tradition in New Orleans called uh, the jazz funeral. And that jazz funeral is broken up into two parts. The first part of the jazz funeral is called the dirge. The dirge is a slow, mournful tune that's played when someone is being laid to rest. The musicians purposely play music to get you to cry, to pour out, to lament. Once that person is laid to rest, the music moves from a mournful tune and it moves and transitions into a celebratory tune. And now, those people that were once out there at the funeral, who are walking along with the dirge, I'm free, now we're dancing. People move and dance to express themselves. And all over the place, you're like, wait a minute, I was just at a funeral, we're just crying, and now you're dancing, and they come down, and shaking everything, like you just don't care. You know, it's all that. But there's some other elements that are embedded within there, in terms of jazz funeral, is that when the person was laid to rest, many things they would do after they put it into the ground, they would release white doves. They release three white doves, which is a representation of the Trinity, the God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When they release these doves, they would be a symbol of carrying that person's soul off into the heavens. It got expensive at some of the funerals and weddings uh, for this to happen with the doves. So the idea of the white dove got translated down into a white handkerchief in New Orleans. So when you go to New Orleans and you see a person dancing with a white handkerchief, they're not just dancing in the white handkerchief because it looks cool on the white with a sweat because it's so dang on hot there. They're not just doing it for that reason. The white dove, the white dove is the white handkerchief. And you, the person dancing, moving, is the embodiment of the Holy Spirit. You're channeling it. So you can see a person dance and move. You see all those expressions go through them. Think about it. Where are some of the greatest retentions of Africa in America? Obviously, it's in the African American, but one particular place where it's really strong is in the black church. So, when you see a person going to a person, a movement of shouting, a person begin to express. Many times they move like a bird. It's the Holy Spirit moving through them. I took the idea of bird in the end, the second line from Michigan, and I created these characters like the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And those four horsemen are walking away from the grave site, carrying inside their hands an old 1950 Chevy coupe. And as they carry it around, as if to bring it back to life. As you move throughout this part of the compositional space, you see the musicians moving, and you see the mournful looks upon their faces as they are playing, playing the mournful tune. The guy in the foreground is laying down onto the ground, a white handkerchief, and if you look at the very end of it, it has a little X, which symbolizes like a bird's head. It's like that thing is dead, but they're trying their best to bring it back alive. As you move through the compositional space and get to the center, I purposely put a white nail onto the bass drum in the center of the compositional space. And why I put them there? Because if you think about jazz music, where does it come from? It, of course, is an original musical formation. It comes, in, comes from America but it was created by the African-American in the commingling of African traditions and European traditions in order to create what we know as jazz music, or what we know as the blues. The blues comes from the fields. 
It comes from that place of servitude. It comes through the spirituals. It comes through the gospel songs that were sung. The, the African traditions are circular based. Hence, I put it on top of the circle with the place Truman, which is the oldest African American municipality in the United States located in New Orleans, Louisiana. Truman is the same space where jazz was born. The European traditions as related to marching bands are very linear based. And you've got the mixing of those two colliding together, and now you have this musical form that we know is one of the most original forms created in our nation that has been deposited all around the world. But as you move on from this place of mourning, the dirge, which is in this half of the compositional space, you move into the place of celebration. Because I told you, you're trying to take something that was considered to be dead, and you're bringing it back to life. So now I have this trinity of women, now I'm celebrating the dancing, even all the way down to the shape of her necklace, which is a paisley, which is one of the earliest symbols in the world that's been used as a symbol of nature. As they're singing and moving, as you see her waving her hand across the top of the compositional space, and now that once dead handkerchief is, an, is now very much alive. As you see the eye on the end of the handkerchief. Hence, the philosophy of my work is that the dirge is something that we engage and that we deal with every single day. But I believe that we as a people, we as a community, we as a nation, we as individuals must embrace that dirge with the hope of receiving a second line, not when we're dead, but when we are very much alive. So bird in hand, second line for mission. Yeah.